Nigerian Bulldog Nation. Welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. As always, we're sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Park Shoga. Check us out on all of our platforms. Well, the big news today, Hunter says he will testify. He wants to testify at a public hearing. James Comer says, nah, baby, nah, it's going to be deposition time first. Then you can do your public hearing. I say, just get him. All right, Deutsche Bank testified yesterday, a CEO or officer, lending officer from Deutsche Bank, and he testified to what I've been saying from day one. Will Orgeron ignore the judge, the testimony? And here's what the testimony says. Deutsche Bank said they had no problems with the loans. They had no problems with his financial statements. They, under, they accept that, you know, lenders or borrowers do these type of things. They put what they think. They do their own independent check and study. Totally okay. How the hell can there be fraud? Think about this, folks. The bank who lent the money is kosher. Cool. Makes no sense. The national Christmas tree blew over <laughs> in a windstorm. You can't make it up. The Joe Biden administration cannot even properly moor a Christmas tree. <laughs> Little anchors there, maybe? No. Everything they do, including putting up our national Christmas tree, is a disaster. I can't imagine what the hell happened to the pumpkins. I bet you the jack-o'-lanterns caught on fire. Biden is at only 27% favorable rating with independence. See you, Joe. Trump is beating Joe nationally. Trump is beating Joe in Ohio. Trump is beating Joe on the 10 most critical issues in the race. See you, Joe. You ready for this? J.P. Morgan paid $365 million to Epstein victims. Let that sink in. This is his bank. This is Epstein. How and why would a bank pay almost a half a billion dollars to victims if they were not at fault? And what does that mean? I mean, this is off the chart. Yet, we still don't have names. It's sick, man. Yeah. The world we live in. All right, there's a great book out. I'm going to buy this. Controlligarchs by Seamus Bruner. And he talks about how the controlligarchs, you know, Bill Gates and company, want to control our lives. Black Lives Matter leader Mark Fisher's endorsed Trump. <laughs> he says the Democratic Party sucks. <laughs> Kim Jong-un says he's spying on the White House with satellites. <laughs> they might as well be in the White House. Federal lands for migrant camps, it's a thing. They want to pass a law that says, no, we got to stop this. Biden says, no. Next thing you know, you're going to go to Yellowstone and you're going to see 10,000 illegal immigrants camped out. You won't be able to see Old Faithful because there'll be immigrants camped out. They're invading our federal lands. <laughs> you ought to get uh, General Sheridan and go clean them all up. <laughs> I can do the Indians. No offense, Indians. I'm just making a joke. You belong here, Indians. These illegal immigrants didn't. Then again, aren't we all descended of some illegal or illegal immigrant? <laughs> all right, Moms for Action have also endorsed Trump. Hell of a day yesterday, I'd say, for Trump. The Cook family has endorsed Haley. Good. Waste a bunch of freaking money. Woke books have failed. They paid this one guy like $2 million bonus, sign-on bonus, and uh, I think it sold 3,000 copies. Murdoch got 27 more years. Add that on a life sentence. Judge, was, judge gave it to him pretty good. November 30th, which is tomorrow, Sean Hannity is going to uh, host a Newsom DeSantis debate. I have a request to all of you. Don't watch it. Burger King's prices are so high, even Sabrina Kane can't afford it. I, they're not high. They're only like two for 10. Well, that's what the news said. So you do go to... Bro Wait a minute. She lives in Falmouth, Kentucky, and Pendleton. You know how many restaurants they got there? Okay, we got a McDonald's. 
I love Burger King. They got their, you don't have a Burger King, do you? Cable County. You don't have it in Falmouth, the largest city in Pendleton County. You have a McDonald's, you got a snappy tomato pizza, you're welcome. I had something to do with that. <laughs> what else do you have? You don't have one single chain restaurant, do you? It's sad. I'll talk to Gary Holland. Maybe he can put a first watch down there for you. I, I just like Gold Star, Skyline. Is there a Skyline and Gold Star in Falmouth? No, there was. Before. There isn't even a Skyline or Gold Star. Wow. You poor thing. Do you get tired of eating McDonald's? It's rare. I like coffee. Rosalind, Rosalind Carter was laid to rest yesterday, and uh, it was a nice, humble ceremony. Come on, Bill. Can't make this up. Here is Barack Obama on the plane in Israel yelling for Bill Clinton to come on. <laughs> I wanted to hear. I'd like to hear what they talked about. Charlie Munger, 99 years old, the right-hand man of Warren Buffett, died. May he not rest in peace. Don't like these people. It's called the Ronnie victims. Hostages were released yesterday, um, but... You know, they're playing games. Only one American hostage was released, and you can't make this up. They're connected to the Bidens. Donors, art buys, everything else. Unbelievable. The Bidens could mess up an anvil. All right, this is wild. Santos says the congressman is going to get expelled, but they keep voting not to expel him. Uh, doesn't have the votes. He went off on all the congressmen's dirty secrets. He says they're all fooling around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We need to contact him and see what he's got on Massey. Although he probably won't spill the beans on Massey because Massey doesn't vote to expel him. Ten-month-old hostage. I got, a, I got a theory about this. You know I'm bold. This baby is dead. I predict the baby is dead. The Hamas claimed that they gave the baby to another terrorist organization. It's like some kind of trophy. Why wouldn't they turn over a 10-month-old baby? I, I predict that the baby's dead, and they don't want to admit it because there would be outrage against Hamas again. What do you think? Yeah. Why wouldn't they turn over a 10-month baby? Come on, if you if you got a bunch of hostages and one of them's crying, aren't you saying, will you please take this baby? <laughs> All right, Mike Pence, you know, Mr., he was, you know, the, the savior of our republic and all that crap. You ready for this? In his book, he says he wasn't even going to show up to verify the votes. And his son talked him into going. Oh, really? Mr. Pence of Virtue? I don't think so. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. American German Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Local News. As always, we're sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Park Show. Go check us out on all of our platforms. And if you've never watched our news, sit back, relax, and enjoy. You're never going to see local news covered like this. All right, in our long crime section, there was a Kettering kidnap yesterday. They don't have any suspects. They've got a description. A young girl was out rollerblading when a potential kidnapper tried to kidnap her, and it didn't work. It failed. Thank goodness. Port Steves, this woman right here, Taylor DeBella, 23, and a 15-year-old little girl. She sent them up on the porch. We're doing Port Stevery in Montgomery. They were going up to the porches and stealing stuff. Now, there's two ways to look at it. Number one, it's awful crime. Number two, how desperate can people be that they got to you know, resort to this kind of stuff. I don't know what the facts are, but the bottom line, she's been stopped. All right, this guy right here, Monty Cecil, creepy S-O-B. How dare he wear a goatee and a bald look? Shaming the look forever more. <laughs> 60 years old, that's why I had to shave my goatee. People like this destroyed the image. <laughs> Charged with 45 counts of child porn stuff, including rape. Why would we not want to put people like this to death? Don't get it. All right, the next guy up, Michael Van Alstein. 
FBI thief. He stole guns from storage, evidence rooms. What a monstrous feeble farlet he was. All right, Treetops Grocery firebombed up in Ohio while the owner was in the store. Must not have liked his prices. Inflation's causing these things, folks. Stealing. A couple's been going to have to plead guilty to, has pled guilty to stealing fifth third banking information. How would you like all your banking information stolen by some miscreant like Chris Weiss? All right, you see student hit and run. They've now got an arrest involving, uh, it's so sad, got, they got scared, but hit two people in a crosswalk and took off. Mm-hmm. All right, 30,000. This couple right here stole 30,000 from a booster club. Shame on them. Again, I hope they were desperate. I mean, I'm serious. It makes a difference to me. Were they desperate or were they buying yachts? But they, too, are monstrous, feeble varlets. All right, John Brock, tax evasion. He has pled guilty. All right, local news. Borough Foundations donated $1.3 million for some mental health and some hungry folks. Good for him. Kenny Chesney is going to play at the FCFQ Stadium. Three-year cruise canceled. This woman right here sold everything she had, bought a three-year cruise to live on, and then the cruise got canceled. We would like to represent her. Please contact Drake Law. <laughs> Von Lehman and Company has sold to, well, that sold, are merging. They previously merged with a place over in Cincinnati. Now they're merging again with another accounting firm. John Yeager was laid to rest yesterday. I went to the visitation. I uh, spoke to his wife, Bonnie, son, Jason, uh, some workers. They built their home. It was a super guy, only 79 years old. May he rest in peace. John Yeager, now he's a businessman, country club kind of guy, right? He wrote a defense of me when I got arrested and thrown in jail fighting for the Durrani victims. And, uh, you know, not many people in his level did something like that for me, and he did it. Also, uh, in Kentucky news, health care shortage. You know, again, political Munchausen. They're all crying, we got a nurse shortage, health care worker shortage. You created it. Now they're all whining. Mac Brown, the chairman of the state Republican Party, is stepping down. Of course, Mitch McConnell controlled him, and Mitch McConnell will replace him with whoever. I don't give a damn. All right. In Ohio news, canine trainer in the fire, 17 dogs they were training were dead or died. Terrible, terrible. And there was an explosion uh, in a hardware store in Hillsborough. Boom. One dead, a couple injured. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Hello, you're watching Every Dealer's World News. This is Jamie Spinley with today's latest headlines. Indian rescuers yesterday safely retrieved all 41 workers from a collapsed Himalayan road tunnel after a 17-day operation to free them. At least one person was killed after a U.S. military Osprey aircraft crashed into the ocean near Japan early hours this morning. At least, at least six were on board. The status of the other five are unknown at this time. Finland is closing all crossings on the Russian border after accusing Moscow of deliberately helping migrants into the country. Seven of eight road posts have already shut over rise in crossings this month. The death toll from weeks of heavy rain and flooding in Kenya has risen to at least 120 people. People from nearly 90,000 households have been displaced due to floodwaters and have been accommodated in 120 makeshift camps. And hurricane force winds and relentless snowfall has left 10 people dead and 23 injured in snowstorms that swept Ukraine. The storm caused widespread damage in southern Ukraine, the south of Russia and the Crimean Peninsula. Until tomorrow, thank you for watching. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to another episode of Sports Without Boundaries. Well, the Joe Burrow Foundation is donating $1.3 million for those who are hungry and mental health issues. Way to go, Joe Burrow. Way to share some of that money. 
How about funding the Ronnie litigation? Is that part of the mission statement of the Joe Burrow Foundation? All right, you know, the University of Kentucky Wildcats blew off their home court 95 to 73. It wasn't even that close. They were by 30 at one point. The Miami Hurricanes, not the little Miami from Ohio, the big Miami from down in Florida, blew them off the court. Leading the way once again, what did I say? That's right. Shepard, Reed Shepard is the man. Him and Dillingham leading the way off the bench. Ryan Day has been offered a new job. You know what it is, Josh Wentz and Chuck Holbrook? Third base coach of a minor league baseball team. <laughs> they formally offered it to him. You know what? I feel sorry for Ryan Day for this one reason. I feel sorry for him because you win almost all your games and you lose to Michigan. They ask for you to be fired. That is how bad that freaking rivalry is. However, I'm going to go ahead. I've, I've messed around. I've tried to play it cool. I used to root for Ohio State uh, back in the day with Archie Griffin. You know, I, I kind of liked him under Trestle. Uh, I liked him under Woody Hayes. I'm going to make a confession. I haven't liked the Buckeyes for a long time. So if I piss off some of Bulldog Nation, I just can't stand the fans. And some of the people that I hate are gigantic Buckeye fans. And while they were losing the Michigan, Chuck Colbrook, the only thing I could think about is Matt Hammer. <laughs> I texted Daryl Parks and we were glee. Plus, I got some friends who like the Wolverines. So sorry, Buckeye fans. <laughs> Going to piss off a lot of Bulldog Nationers. All right, Bryce Young uh, went to uh, the coaches, and he said, hey, I'd like some run past options. I think it suits the offense. Frank Reich said no. Frank Reich got fired. See you, Frank. University of Cincinnati Bearcats. I've always rooted for the Bearcats and Xavier both. Uh, UC 86, Howard 81. UC 1. Patino, the guy that had the accident on the motorcycle, that did a press conference at a neck brace, fooling around with his little, little intern, is back as the offensive coordinator for Arkansas. You know what? If you're good in life, after you do your little purgatory, they always bring you back. Ain't America great? Adelson, the rich Adelson family, sold $2 billion of their Vegas stock because they're going to buy the majority interest of Mark Cuban's Mavericks. Andre Dawson went into the Hall of Fame as an expo. Of course, the expos don't exist anymore. He wants the hat on his bus to be changed to a cub hat. Andre is saying, screw you, expos. You don't exist anymore. <laughs> Local news, Caden Miller, six foot nine from Arkansas, came to Kentucky to play for Covenant Catholic. Yeah, Covenant Catholic's going to win the ninth region again, maybe the state again. Covenant Catholic now recruits. Yeah. Remember, C.J. Frederick came over from, you know where. By the way, C.J. Frederick, who sucked as a Wildcat, is playing for the UC Bearcats. C.J., UK now has Reed Shepard. <laughs> He's what you were supposed to do, C.J. See, we talk straight here on our show. All right, Josh Giddy. Turns out that this little skanky girl, who might only be 15, Lied about her age. By the way, that's a big defense. Big defense. You know what? Can you imagine being 15, claiming you're 18, and getting involved with an NBA player? She'll be filing lawsuits. Her parents will be filing lawsuits. Folks, there is an NBA in-season tournament going on, and if you win, you get the NBA Cup, and each player gets $500,000. It's only going to be good for the subs. But anyway, get this. Have you tried to follow how they're doing this? You need to be a math, a master's in math to figure it out. I mean, it's insane how they're running this tournament. I have no clue. When the dust settles, we'll tell you who's playing who. And college football playoffs announced their rankings. Georgia, Michigan, Washington, Florida State, Oregon, Ohio State, Texas, and Alabama. Now, let me make some predictions for you, all right? I'm going to start with this. Florida State doesn't have their quarterback. 
they are going to lose to Louisville, who's lost two games. So Florida State is going to be out. You can write off Ohio State. They're sixth. They're idle where Iowa plays Michigan. Michigan will beat Iowa. Washington and Oregon are playing each other, okay? Only one of those teams will make it. Whoever wins that game will make it. Then you got Texas, and I don't know who they're going to be playing in their uh, uh, Big 12 uh, tournament. I forget. And then you got Bama, who's playing Georgia. If Bama beats Georgia, this is what's going to go down. It's going to be Georgia, Bama, Michigan, and the winner of the Washington uh, Oregon game. That's what's going to happen. Now, if Georgia beats Bama, it's going to be Georgia, Michigan, the winner of the Oregon Washington State game, and Texas if they win their championship. That is what I predict. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. We're not going to cover NHL hockey scores, NBA scores today. You can get them on your phone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, American jury and Bulldog Nation, let's have some fun with pop culture. Are you ready? All right. Omid Scoby, this young guy, wrote a book called The End Game. Of course, it's a royal trashing thing, you know, allegedly quoting Meghan Markle and good old uh, uh, The Spare. The Spare. Can you imagine being going through life called The Spare? Well, the bottom line is The Spare and Meghan Markle claimed that there was two members of the royal family that made a question about Archie's skin color. But they weren't going to name the names. But allegedly, Omid Scopey claiming that the translation from English into Dutch revealed the name, one of the names. And it's a scandal. I don't give a damn. I stand with Kate and William, not Spare and Megan. I even stand with Goofy Charles over those two. All right, Isla McNabb. You ready for this? This little girl is two years old. She is the youngest member ever to go into Mensa. Now, at first, I'm thinking, wait a minute. How do they test her IQ? Well, here's what they do. Based upon her, her Mensa scores for a two-year-old, another, her ability on the alphabet, her ability on her numbers, colors, and apparently a little bit of spelling. But this little girl is two years old and is a member of Mensa. Insane. Woke books crashed. They paid as much as million dollars for some of these weird people to write their books. The books crashed. One, they paid like a $2 million advance and only sold like 3,000 copies. Woke books bombed. Jenny Chesney's going to be coming to the FC Stadium, FQ Stadium, this coming year. They're going to do a lot of concerts there. All right, this is a hysterical story. It's my favorite story of the day. A sex education teacher has been fired. Do you know why she was fired, Josh Wentz? Because her former life, Chuck Holbrook and Josh, she was a prostitute. <laughs> now, wouldn't you want a well-trained and educated sex education teacher, you know, teaching sex education? In fact, I advocate that sex education teachers all be former or current prostitutes to make sure that the kids learn the hows, the do's, the don'ts, safety, and everything else. I mean, think about it. Is there a better sex education teacher than a prostitute? Hell no. Burger King prices are so high, the poor and middle class can't even afford to eat at Burger King. By the way, they continue to make sizes smaller, prices go up. I need to call Gary Holland and ask him, what the hell is going on? He's a restaurant baron. All right, King Charles accused of theft. Now, this, if true, this bothers me a little bit. Here's the deal. I forget what they call it, all right? But apparently, like in Kentucky, you know, the states, there's like unclaimed money. You know how you unclaimed refunds, it, it goes to the state if nobody claims it. Well, apparently, when there's unclaimed refunds in Britain, the king's allowed to take it. But the king's supposed to take that money and give it to charity. 
He's only giving 10% to charity and he's pocketing the rest. Charles, 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 Charles. Okay, we got an update on take. That's Travis and Taylor, all right? Guess what, Kelsey and Taylor? Guess what? They're together again. They're, they're seeing each other. The heiress tournament is over. And she went in and she flew back and she's seeing Kelsey and they're going to be together for Christmas. Remember, all joking aside, I'm rooting for them. All right, there's an Arctic shark. This blew me away. Never heard of this. And since we know that Shark Week is so big, how do we not cover the shark story? All right, here's the shark story. You ready for this one? This guy right here, this shark from the Arctic, it's called an Arctic shark, Josh Wentz. You ready for the drum roll? Allegedly lives 500 years. Wow. I want to come back as an Arctic shark. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. God might say, do you sure? <laughs> All right, Pepsi. Do you know how Pepsi got their name? It literally came from the idea of Pepsi helping your stomach. It's named after Pepsi. I will never drink a Pepsi again. Lay's potato chips is going to reduce their salt. The question is, will they be as good? Because, folks... I don't care that Rebecca Holbrook eats Mike Sells, which I don't understand how she can. She's one of these Mike Sells people. She goes to the cult of Jim Scott and Mike Sells potato chips. I challenge any of you to eat a Lay's potato chip up next to a Hussman's, who used to be good, Mike Sells and all the rest, and there ain't no comparison. Lay's is where it's at. Rebecca, you know that's the facts. Chopsticks in the brain. Now, Imagine this. Some guy apparently had a headache for a real long time and apparently realized, oh, the reason why is I got chopsticks, not chopsticks, chopsticks lodged in my brain. Like you didn't know how the hell did chopstick get in your brain? Crazy story. All right. A lot of people are upset that allegedly Sports Illustrated is using AI to write articles. The question, are they using AI for their models? If you know what I mean, Josh Wentz. I got to ask you two guys a question. Now, your wives might be watching, maybe they're not, so answer accordingly. If you're just wanting to look at a beautiful woman, whether she's in a bikini or unclothed, do you give a damn if it's real or AI? <laughs> I answer for all men, it doesn't matter. <laughs> because that's the purpose. All right, Dolly Barton does not text. And I'm telling you right now, folks, Dolly Parton is a damn genius. You know why she doesn't text Josh and J Chuck? Because she says, I don't want to have to answer. Think about that. When somebody texts you, you are immediately expected to answer, are you not? She operates with fax machine. Fax machine, too. But just think about that, guys. Yeah. Somebody can ask you a question you don't want to answer, and they text it to you. You're stuck. You either offend them or you answer. <laughs> Dolly's a genius. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. Prostitutes for sex education teachers. <laughs>